It's the frightening phone call Ivan Markovic is still playing in his mind. His 10-month-old son was turning blue and struggling to breathe. Minutes earlier, he was playing in the grass with his twin brother at Moscone Park in San Francisco. When I first arrived, he was actually laying motionless on the ground in the park. So he was on the grass, on his back, um, you know, they were... Uh, pumping air. San Francisco firefighters and paramedics arrived on scene within two minutes of the nanny calling 911. Ivan felt helpless, hoping his son would survive. You thought you were going to lose him? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, uh, I, I think it was only once uh, they put him in the emergency vehicle and transferred him that you felt like okay, there's a possibility for treatment, but until that point when he's lying there motionless, you're, you're, you don't know what to do, and you don't know if that's it. Medical records the family provided to ABC7 News points to an accidental fentanyl overdose, a diagnosis that never crossed their mind. They told me, you know, after the fact that they had used Narcan, how does a 10-month-old get into opioids at a playground and a park. Right around that bench is where the incident happened. It's still unclear how Senna ingested fentanyl, but now his family is speaking to alert other parents to be on high alert of any foil or powder in the grass. We contacted the mayor's office and she was unavailable for an interview. Supervisor Matt Dorsey called this incident another wake up call for the city. How do we avoid this from happening again? I think I think it has to start with criminal justice and I think we have to go after the drug dealers. We have to incentivize people who are active in their addictions to get out of their addictions. Baby Senna was discharged after six hours in the hospital. Today the family is thanking first responders for saving his life. And no, they're not planning to leave the city. The total opposite. We, we love the city. We love living here. We're here to participate in that change. In San Francisco, Luz Peña, ABC7 News.